1. Choose a work area that includes a table or countertop and a floor that can resist water. 2. On your table, have handy the following tools. One roll of green floral tape, one set of spears, a few rubber bands, two or three decorative pins, and one roll of decorative ribbon. 3. In a water-filled container, have ready your 50 rose stems. 4. One by one, remove outside petals, unwanted foliage, and all thorns from each rose stem and place on table. 5. Once you are finished with all 50 stems, take one rose in your hand and hold it by its neck. This rose is your focal rose. One by one, begin adding the 49 remaining roses to that same hand. Position each rose in such a way that it wraps around the focal rose, making sure that each stem is parallel with each previous stem added. 6. Constantly adjust the height of each rose so that no one rose is taller or shorter than all the rest. 7. As you increase the amount of roses in your hand, adjust your grip so as not to place unwanted pressure on the neck of the stems. 8. When you are almost done adding all 50 roses, look objectively at the bouquet. If there are any gaps showing, fill in these areas with remaining roses. 9. With the help of someone else, wrap a rubber band tightly around the neck of the bouquet. 10. Take the floral tape and, concealing the rubber band, wrap the tape up and around the gathered stems. Be sure to leave approximately one inch exposed at the stem's bottom for primping. Once you reach the neck of the bouquet, cut the tape. 11. Take the decorative ribbon you have chosen and wrap it up and around the stems, being sure to cover all the floral tape. When all the tape is covered, cut the ribbon and hold it in place by pinning it with a decorative pin. Add more pins depending on your taste. 12. Take your spheres and evenly cut the stems below the ribbon. You did it! Enjoy!